1934, a U.S. government aircraft design contest generated a surprising invention. In 1934, there was a competition from the Bureau of Aeronautics to design a very simple, safe-to-fly, non-stalling and spinning aircraft. They challenged designers to make a plane for every man with a price point of only $700. Coming out of the garage, it's an automobile on its way to a hangar to become an airplane. Aviation pioneer Waldo Waterman soon emerged from the pack with a revolutionary flying car design. Just drop in at the hangar. The special thing about the aerobile was that it was an all-wing airplane. In other words, it didn't have a tail. A flying coupe, no tail, and rudders on the swept back wings. Land and air. Most planes have a tail with an elevator for pitching up or down, and a rudder for nosing left or right. Ailerons on the wings control the roll of the plane side to side. Waterman removed the tail swept the wings back, moved the propeller to the rear, and added rudders to the wingtips. To control pitch and roll, he combined two control surfaces into one and called them elevons, part elevator, part aileron. This meant when he wanted to drive, all he had to do was remove the wings. Waterman's Aerobile was one of three winners of the U.S. Bureau of Aeronautics contest. But it had a mid-air collision with the Great Depression of the 1930s. There just wasn't a market for a flying car. So only five Aerobiles were ever built. 